The NVIDIA RTX 4090 appears to be a strong competitor for the title of the world's greatest graphics card, and its release has the potential to change everything in the PC gaming scene as we know it. The green team is still concentrating on its GeForce RTX 3000 series, but it is definitely fascinating to contemplate the possibility of being able to play on the most recent Steam titles with a GPU that's twice as fast as the 3090. So. What is the most recent information regarding the new RTX 4090, and what should we expect for the upcoming GPU? Do you want to know more about it? Then stay tuned to find out. It's probably safe to conclude that the present generation of technology for graphics card is nearing the end of its cycle. The subsequent few months will be quite intriguing, as many rumors continue to pour in regarding new hardware that will most likely be released by the end of the year with both Nvidia and AMD in the lead. Many people are keeping their ear to the ground to be able to see what information can be gained, particularly info regarding likely speculations. Given how it's possible that Team Green's latest RTX offerings could make their way into store shelves sooner. Due to the fact that there is still a GPU and CPU shortage going on in many parts of the world, the NVIDIA RTX 4090 might as well be a fantasy at this point. Since NVIDIA has already spent 10 billion, that's right, billion with a B, purchasing RTX 4000 components, the company appears to be well prepared to weather the storm caused by a lack of available supply. Ability is one thing, but growing demand, which has led to skyrocketing GPU costs and people who are interested in crypto mining are ready to spend a good sum for them. If you're considering purchasing a new GPU, then you want to acquire as much information as possible regarding Nvidia's upcoming flagship graphics card. We always want to be able to keep you guys updated and informed and therefore have been keeping an ear to the ground to pick up any RTX 4090 price drops, release date rumors, and any other speculation information that could be buzzing around. So here's what we know so far about the RTX 4090. Although Nvidia has not yet officially released the price for the 4090, it hasn't stopped many people from making speculations about how much it'll cost. The information of the MSRP of any RTX 4000 graphics card can be taken with a grain of salt. There are rumors that the 4090 might cost as high as $1,900. To put that into perspective, the price of the current generation RTX 3090 is around 1500 This indicates that you might have to shell out some serious called hard cash for the next flagship GPU. It's also important to note that the RTX 4090 variant produced by Asus, Gigabyte, and Evga will almost certainly be priced much, much higher especially if the price patterns observed among board partners continues. Evidence suggests that GPUs are finally becoming less expensive, so perhaps we'll see some price tags that are more reasonably attached to the next generation RTX models. Although at the moment, third-party RTX 3090 cards cost more than $2,000. However, there's also no doubt that GPUs are finally becoming less expensive. Nvidia has not yet provided us with an official RTX 4000 release date either. It's commonly thought that they'll probably drop and unveil the RTX 4090 GPU this year according to release date rumors. However, the company has not provided us with an official RTX 4000 release date. The Infar RTX 3000 series is two years old in 2002, which will mark the typical interval at which Green Team will introduce a new GPU. In light of this, it's not an irrational assumption to state that there is a possibility of us seeing an RTX 4070 soon. The origins of the RTX 4080 and 4090 graphics card respectively is imminent. Incredible insider knowledge lends that reference to true credence. An insider in the IT business named Copite 7 Kimi has speculated that the NVIDIA Loveless graphics cards, such as the RTX 4090, would become available, quote, as early as mid-July of this year. This possibly points to the possibility that the business will officially debut its next-generation GPU lineup this summer, coincidentally, neatly with the Summer Game Fest events. Now, according to a confidential material obtained by well-known leakers, the RTX 4090 will reportedly use a graphics processing unit called the AD102, which will include up to 71% more CUDA cores than the RTX 3000 series. And despite the fact that Samsung is in charge of Nvidia's fabrication at the moment, the company is planning to mitigate TSMC 5 nanometer process nodes for its next generation lineup. These rumored specs have been known to be changed by Copite 7 Kimi, another renowned leaker, who stated that the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 will include, get this, 16,128 CUDA cores, and will strive to be twice as powerful as the RTX 3090. 
The RTX 4090 is also gonna be equipped with 12 pin PCIe Gen 5 power connectors that are gonna make it supply 600 watts of a single cable. This connector could be the standard and due to the fact that the majority of the power supplies do have a six plus two pin layout, it's only natural that you'll need to make up use of an adapter in order to guarantee compatibility. Oh, also there is rumors that there could be an RTX 4090 Ti in the works and it could be equipped with a whopping 46 gig bytes of VRAM. One leaker claims that Nvidia is now developing a quote fully fat GPU that has 900 watts of TDP and requires two, not one, but two 16 pin power connectors. However, the leaker claims that it's not yet definite whether or not this GPU will become an actual product. Another interesting nugget that can be gleaned from Copite 7 Kimi's tweets is the fact that there are underwhelmed with RDNA 3. And let's just say even for the sake of argument, if AMD were even able to cook up a hypothetical RX 7900XT with 50% or more performance over the 6950XT, it still wouldn't be enough if these rumors about NVIDIA turn out to be accurate. As you might have imagined as well, NVIDIA is keeping the specs of the RTX 4090 GPU under wraps, but leaks have provided some insight into the GPU capabilities. In comparison to an RTX 3090, we should anticipate, quote, at least double the performance according to certain sources. However, we won't know if this assertion is accurate until we get our hands on the card itself. These rumors state that the RTX 4090 will break well beyond 100 teraflops regarding the card's computational capabilities, and if true, that would put it in a position to compete favorably with the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT. Anyone who is interested in increasing their frame rate above the limits of the current gen will find this to be some very exciting news. Nevertheless, attaining such tremendous highs does come with certain power usage constraints. Insider Graymon55 says that the AD102 chip could have a TGP range of 850 watts, which is something that may need enthusiasts to purchase an expensive power supply unit. It's also important to note that Jensen Huang and his colleagues have not yet made an official announcement about these particulars. Hence, it's not possible to verify these particulars at this time. Having said that, it is quite possible that the devices are now going to be developed with the specifications being very close to finalized, as Nvidia is planning to debut the RTX 4000 series in July this year. This indicates that any leaks could potentially be more accurate as this far earlier launch window approaches in the future. So let's keep our fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen, that maybe Team Green will reveal their plans very soon. On the flip side of the market, AMD is working on the RDNA 3, which is scheduled for availability in 2022. Along with the fact that Intel has not yet released their ARC desktop cards, Nvidia and AMD are probably not concerned about competing against Team Blue. However, Intel is still in the early stages of development. The RTX 4090, in whatever form it ultimately takes, will very definitely be the product that dominates the product line for the future ADA architecture. This may come as a bit of a relief for those waiting for the GPU to drop, which could happen sooner than expected, given that it's feasible that it will be 150 watts cooler than what was originally believed. So there you have it, folks. That's all the news we know about the RTX 4090. It's getting closer, folks, so start saving. We're all excited to see how the looming GPU battle plays out. And also, if you enjoyed all this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more content updates from us. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.